Hello to all of you viewers of Poland Daily Culture. My name is Maria Kondzielska and we are talking today about modern art. I know for that for a lot of people modern art is a very hard task. I myself for a long time were just taking very deep step away from such kind of art because I didn't understand it so easily. With me is Anna Vostrohovaita, a modern artist who just finished her exhibition in Biegas Museum in Warsaw. Anu, Biegas Museum is just, I would say, in the main road, just in front of the Palace of Culture. So it's a prestigious place. And Warsawians and everyone who visited Warsaw could see your piece of art there. What have you exhibited there? That exhibition was during the pandemic. So uh, I hope that there were uh, viewers, some viewers, but I don't think that not so many as in a in normally. Cases. Yeah. But w what did you but, shoot? Uh, it was a kind of installation uh, consisted from two objects. One, uh, it was the cut um, object uh, in a grey colour. And the second one is the work um, which is which uh, presented a, an arrow and a duplicated emoticon. Um, you can say. So um, the whole was about um, that inaccurate nature of uh, object of art because and at all um, of symbols in a virtual space because we tend to use um, daily we tend to use uh, all symbols and emoticons and I don't know, various symbols in uh, social media and so on. And uh, despite that, they have very, um, very particular sense. Uh, we cannot use them precisely because uh, they are depending from the context uh, in most uh, of time. So yeah, if you send to someone just a silly emoticon without a context and it's so it's stupid. But in the context in conversation. Yeah, it, it depends necessary. from us actually from our personalities. How do we understand them and how the people understand? So it's uh, it is not so easy to express our feelings. And especially during pandemic when you are when, for example, I'm writing to my family um, who is based in Vilnius and um, I realized that it is uh, more and more um, hard it is harder to express uh, simply what do you think or what do you what do you want to say what do you feel so that is partly that was about that fact and the another fact um, the another part of that um, of that object, rather say, uh, it was an arrow from the right side, and uh, that maybe came from my fascination of the um, drawings on the roads. Uh, when I passed my uh, driving exam, I um, I realized that I'm fascinated by the fact that we are following the drawings actually. So, <laughs> we're know. following the drawing yeah. on the road. Yes, of course, it was meaning. Yeah. So, um, that came from that. But actually, what you just said about the emoticons and about the, the arrow, I just thought about the fact that uh, we so much right now uh, live, we say that we live in the times of a photo and a video that they are the most important but in the other things we all the time write to each other and we all the time have to put in very short written messages mm -hmm. what we feel how we are what we express so it's it's written everyone who would be illiterate cannot send a message so cannot cannot use social media so we very much, uh, that's why the emoticons are needed as an element, as yeah, I understand. That's true, that's true, but it is, you know, you should use it very precisely to, to express what you want and to, you know, you can, you can use it in How some ways. Feel, yeah. yeah, sometimes. And, 
actually that's about generally that's about uh, that's visual flow in um, in social media in yeah in our life as well because we live so much in social media as well I understand uh, but my question uh, just to wrap up it mm -hmm. uh, is to uh, how would you like the audience to approach your piece of art how would you like people to see your art I noti noticed that people uh, have no patience enough to understand that I want to show, I, I want to express uh, them. Because uh, actually people uh, tend to reject things which they do not understand. And the same is with, sometimes, uh, not always, but sometimes the same is with my works. When they do not understand, they are just, they are not even, just, or judging. Uh, at least, or just leave it with no comments, and that's okay, no reaction. And so, what you would like from people is to uh, have more patience for your piece of art and for uh, modern art at all. Is it is a remedy for moral adults? Yeah. So, like sometimes we we just want an answer here and here, and that's why we like so much to see things which we already know and to listen to things which we already know usually, because it doesn't require so much work from us and so much attention. Yeah. And of course, modern art is modern, it's new. We haven't seen it before. Yeah, we sometimes need to read a bit about that uh, work. We came into a um, gallery and we should be actually ready for, for the exhibition, uh, prepared in some way. Um, it's worth to read about it sometimes, you know, to, to know what, what are you watching. Um, and that's my um, kind of proposal for the, for the viewers of modern art. So we talked with Anna Vosruhavajta, a young Polish artist and painter who graduated from Academy of Polish Arts in, with honors. And her advice to you is to have a little bit more patience when it comes to pieces of art, especially the art, modern art, and to learn the story which is behind it, because that's a way to understand it. Thank you very much for spending this time with us, and I do hope your appetite for art is even bigger and even stronger. Thank you and bye-bye. <laughs>